Welcome to the world of fire testing. In this short clip, we would like to introduce you to fire resistance testing of glazed building elements. The objective of the fire testing is to measure the fire resistive performance of a glazed building element to prevent loss of integrity, to limit heat transmission or temperature rise, which might cause the spread of fire. We do this by simulating a fully developed fire in a severe given situation. These fire-resistant elements are mainly used for fire compartmentation, limiting the spread of fire to other rooms and to protect escape routes for the evacuation of people. In the test, the test furnace simulates a room fire after flashover, when air temperature rapidly rises. The flashover point is the moment of near simultaneous ignition of most of the directly exposed combustible materials. The fire-resistant glazed building element is installed in front of the furnace. During the test, measurements are taken and observations are made on the opposite side of the fire. Fire resistance tests are conducted according to standardized test methods that outline in detail how the test must be conducted and which criteria need to be fulfilled. Most of these test standards follow the standard time temperature curve according to ISO 834. The test conditions are measured and controlled with plate thermometers and pressure sensors to accurately ensure reproducible results. After just three minutes, the temperature in the furnace rises to more than 500 degrees Celsius, which is 900 degrees Fahrenheit. After 30 minutes, the temperature has risen to almost 850 degrees Celsius, which is 1,600 degrees Fahrenheit, and continuously rises throughout the test. Three hours into a test, the temperature can rise to over 1,100 degrees Celsius, which is 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. On the opposite side of the fire, temperatures are measured with thermocouples placed on glass and framing surfaces. The radiated heat of the tested element is measured with a radiometer. The acceptable size and significance of cracks and gaps which may open during the test are measured by gap gauges or with the cotton pad test. Video and photographs, as well as notes, are used to ensure a complete documentation before, during and after the test. After the building element has proven its performance over the intended time, the test is stopped in a safe and controlled manner. Once the element has cooled down, it can be further analysed. Building elements that successfully pass the test and for which a report is issued are eligible for classification according to the relevant building regulation or local requirements.